federal government thank you. Toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I know the fire department gets gets bid prices. Yeah. Yeah. Bid prices. Yeah. yeah. Just gotta kind of double check because sometimes they forget. Okay. Or somebody just do makes a mistake. I, I wouldn't uh, would yeah notice the little mistakes about that. Okay, so I'd like council to refer to get the cost of the truck tires up from nine fifty to eleven fifty one, and then the one ton work for thirty three hundred. Uh, F-150 for 400, tail patch for 650, and we will try to beat those prices. Well, I have some discussion, but I'll make a motion that we <coughs> accept um, these changes. I'll okay, discussion. Yeah, the discussion is, because um, I didn't bring my budget in, I don't know where we sit with regard oh, to budget. This is the... It's the re refund, right? The refund, and we had like twenty-eight thousand dollars to spend on this, that, and the other this year. We're no twenty-four, twenty-eight. Okay. And it's from monies collected in years past. Yeah. And uh, so. And so this is just small potatoes. It's small potatoes compared to the overall budget. All right. Good enough. And, yeah. This is just all the safety and OSHA and maintenance stuff that we need. Right. So it's basically already covered. Yeah. It's in a different fund. It's not out of general. Fund. Okay. Yes, sir. If I could chime in, but not to throw a monkey wrench in things, but if you haven't looked at it, I don't know whether they've saved you money or not, but I know that almost all the rest of the municipalities in the county are shifting over to fleet management down at the county for their vehicle maintenance, their tires, their oil changes, a little bit. Um, and I don't know if anybody's looked into that, but I'm assuming if they're to, all doing this, it's because it's saving them money. I tried to, but I didn't know how to get a hold of them. Um, if you can give me the information, I will look into it and see if it will save money on like oil changes, you said, and tires. It would be, they would take responsibility for all of the fleet maintenance. All things. Um, okay. And so you would get regular notices from them, hey, either for mileage or time, your vehicle's due for maintenance, time to bring it in. Okay, if you give me the information, I'll gladly contact them and I'll do the maintenance. Do we have uh, some um, guidelines on s um, uh, snow plowing the roads this year? Because I've had an awful lot of citizens complain that the side roads are not getting done, and I know that's because of money, but we need to really address that. We really need to get okay. this plowed. The, the, uh, we've got a, uh, a, a route that we do now because we've got minimal time we don't still have the money in the street fund. Uh, and we've talked about uh, using some of the money in the stormwater fund because snow is also water going down the drain. Uh, and we haven't looked at that yet. Uh, the only time we had a really bad problem is we snowed so hard, what, three years ago. Uh, <clears throat> well, last year was last the most year wonderful last year. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so can we look into that maybe next meeting? Well, okay, we'll, we'll bring that up uh, next meeting. We will take a look at the snow plow bill, but again, it comes into what's in the budget. I know, we really need to get, yeah. I mean, we're talking about the citizen's way of getting in and out to uh, work understand. and the citizen's safety. And the city's main goal is to always put the citizens first. And so if we have to cut stuff, then we better start cutting to get these side roads clear. Because, I mean, it can get really you're gonna, bad. You're going to get started. the cases already reported. Uh, I talked to AWC and they uh, said they've heard nothing. Uh, they've heard nothing back from the uh, informant security. She got denied and there has seemed to be no uh, 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 
appeals or anything else. They've heard nothing. Uh, and it's in the prosecutor's office, and I left a, a message with the uh, state auditor and hadn't called back yet, but I've been no activity. So uh, uh, as far as I know, the city is done with that, and it's in somebody else's paperwork. Any more comment? Yeah, well, how about a city clerk for the state part? <clears throat> yeah, I love it. Me too. Uh, the, uh, I did make a, a call. I did go to Rock, Prothman, and uh, they're, they're real good recruiters, and they came up empty and just quit returning my calls. And <laughs> then I have called around, and I'm going to call around some more to see if there's some uh, part-time city clerks around who would uh, want to go to a two-day job. Really, for right now, when we're trying to get everything in order, uh, what we need most is probably a two-day, a week, highly experienced city clerk to come in and get things straight. According to, they have to know all the rules, you know, the mm -hmm. of rules, and including the rules on how to label your file cabinet and stuff like this. And that's, to me, that's probably the, the first thing we have to really go through is, is the uh, organization. But do we have in place a, um, a job description? Uh, yeah, I, we have one. I don't know how good it is. But so, so maybe we need to update that and then maybe get it to work source and kind of work source start uh, you know, advertising it with that job description? And the I don't know that I can write a job description for a city clerk. There's a whole bunch of, uh, basically, there is a whole bunch of three ring binders full of stuff that you have to know. It's not the educational requirements are probably eighth grade math and ninth grade English. Okay? You're good at those. Fine, but we still need to have a job description. We still need to get that job description updated. We need to take that updated job description, give it to WorkSource, have WorkSource publish it, and start looking for a city clerk. Sitting on our doves in hoping that we have a, a okay uh, job description is not getting the job done. Does yes. AWC possibly have one? Is what now? Does AWC possibly uh, There's have a one? place that would have it would be the, the information we gave you, the uh, a clerk. I mean, you have all that information. We said it. Well, I, what I was thinking about doing is maybe going to like Salton and see if they have one. Maybe go into Monroe and see if they have one. Take a look at both of those. That's a job you mind doing that? I'll do it. Fantastic. Thank you. So I want to follow up with the comments you made that you, you called the auditor's office and and then you made the statement that as far as you understood the city had we're, we're done with this but wouldn't we really want an audit done oh we, that is at work now I don't know where that is in their practice like with the, uh, the county right. prosecutor okay I mean you know you got you got domestic violence, you got murders, you got car thieves, and you got a zero dollar either misdemeanor or, or, or a felony. Right? You know, I and I'm and I when the last time I talked to them, uh, to the super, the guy's supervisor, he sort of left the impression we're really busy right now on some important stuff. And uh, and there's been no evidence of any money lost. So, but, you know, but we so wouldn't know that without an audit. And oh, we had the audit. We had the audit through 2011. Uh, we have had Harry go through carefully. We can't identify anything, okay, right. anything monetarily missing. Right. Now, we found a lot of sloppiness. We found a lot of uh, things that had to be corrected and errors, but nothing that we can identify as that. Okay. Uh, Joe, would you mind stepping up so we can hear you? I swear I can speak to that a little bit. I made a public records request pending the uh, fraud audit that's still ongoing. According to Ms. Wilkins, or well, her name is Wilkins, Shirley Wilkins, I can forward you an email. Uh, the fraud audit is still ongoing and will be ongoing. She does not expect it to end until sometime in January. So we're looking at I mean, pretty much, it's been months, and it's still ongoing for months more. And that's all I know about the matter. But once I get the public records back, I'll have to call with you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any, any more comments? No, no more. Okay, so you're going to chase some job descriptions. Okay. And, uh, and the fleet thing. Take care of that. And the fleet thing. Okay. Joe. Yes. Um, council cannot have anything to do with job qualifications. They only could do confirmation. Yes. We are strictly 
They strip me for confirmation. They cannot do anything with job description. You cannot have a work session on what you would like to upgrade or anything. Hmm. That's been passed years ago. Was it a resolution or RCW? Or what? I can't tell you. All I know is that it was done years ago and they were very firm about it because the subject had been brought to the table about a job description and it was cut right there. They could do so confirmation only. We can have a manual, an employee manual. Well, we have yes. an employee manual and it has a job description in it. But you, can we get an you the council themselves, cannot tweak the qualifications that's you. Oh, oh. no, but that's can, not even me. No, no, no. The we qualifications for a city clerk are set in RCW. They're set in RCW. Mm -hmm. But the staff itself cannot tweak it in any way. They can only do or they can only do confirmation. Okay. But then, that doesn't preclude us from going out and hunting one down, right? Oh, okay. that's just no, that. No, no, no. That's just that gathering. No. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't like to interfere, I don't. So <laughs> I have to hey, this is hard to start town hall. Okay. Yes, sir. Any more questions? No. no questions? Okay. We'll move on. Uh, well repair contractor. Okay. Did some looking. I went to uh, MRSC. And we're looking at bringing in uh, someone to do some serious work on the well. And we have used contact uh, three times, I believe, in the past, tool the well to do the work, and quite satisfied with their with their analysis and their, and their work and everything else. If we go out, if we go out for bids in a couple of different ways, you have to go out and get bids made, and then you have to take the lowest bidder. And it depends on how cleverly you write the bid specification. To keep from getting a low bid gated. And uh, it's just uh, either we go uh, small works or you go hire an engineering firm to write a spec and go up for bids on a full formal thing. You end up with the lowest bidder and you have, once the spec is met, you have no uh, option to do a quality thing. Now, there are under $7,500 we don't need bids and it turns out that MRC said, hey, also for uh, public works, uh, you've got two criteria. <coughs> under 40000 for a single craft, under 65000 for two or more crafts. So our last quote on doing the, uh, <coughs> doing the work here was pump tech. This was done back in January. And it came out to be like $31,000 uh, to do this. And, uh, and that's with a repaired motor. And we talked before about rather than spending, what, $3,000 on an estimate to repair the motor as opposed to $6,600 to buy a new one, we'd probably be smarter to buy a new one. Now I did some looking and uh, I hate to admit Jay Pure may have had a good idea. No. <laughs> uh, I did look at did one the early, too? early analysis of the well, and they talked about going to a submersible pump. Uh, and then I checked what I could on submersible pumps, and it's in the same neighborhood price as, as the new motor. So it's not out of the question. Uh, and also we found some interesting things about it. But we're going to pull the well apart, we'll look at what we actually got, remeasure, see where the 8 inch uh, see where the pumps actually are in the well and, uh, and, and do a lot of stuff like that. So, we're, so John and I are going to work and write up a to-do list of things for the well. We're going to sit down with uh, Pump Tech, probably go to, we'll probably just go over to uh, Bellevue to do it and, uh, and get them to give us a quote that we know what we're getting. And then hopefully we'll have that ready for next time so that we can uh, motivate our any questions, comments? Um, no, I, I think this is a good thing to do, but it, it's still in the back of my mind at the same time that um, we'll have to we'll have to look at next year's budget and see how it comes out. But it's still in the back of my mind as to whether the water uh, works is something we really want to hang on to as a city. Uh, yeah, I uh, what we uh, we we had the 2008 letter from. The Department of Health, they do these one dozen things, I don't know, 11, 12, 10, something like that. And 
and we are complete, we should complete all of them essentially this year. Uh, we're also, we held off doing the water comprehensive plan, which is great, uh, because it would have been obsolete the, the day it came out if we, if we went ahead and finished it. We're ready to finish the water comprehensive plan. We, we uh, stopped the big leaks we had, so we're within the uh, federal requirements for water loss. Uh, we've got the new reservoir, which was the spear in the ground for the Department of Health. And we're getting all the last bit of work done, which is paying the tax. At that time, then, we will we will be clean from all that work. I've already contacted uh, BUD about this, and uh, they're, they're ready to take a look at it when it's done. But obviously, we go ahead and finish our comp plan uh, because they don't do an analysis for free. And, so, uh, yeah. So Jay and I have talked this, and this is the right thing to do for maintenance, I believe. Yep. And it's also required because the USDA grant, there's a chunk of money in there that's assigned to do this sort of stuff. I have started off this with, with another comment about what is the city doing in the water department or something? No, like no, no, water no, no, business. no. It's water business, thank you. Yeah, so, it's, so, so the comment is, um, it's been suggested by some citizens that we might consider sale of the water, um, the water portion of the water works. Sell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To whom? To PUD. Yeah. So, so this is not, we're not discussing that here and now, yeah. first of all. I'm but just curious but, but I just wanted yeah. to make the statement that, um, yeah. so I understand doing the work we need to do, but it's still in the back of my mind as to whether or not we want to consider that's a budget issue to be discussed in the budget. Uh, actually, it's a, actually budget. Budget. Yeah. a budget issue. Why is there a budget issue with the water? Water's to the blank. Yeah. Well, yeah. Supreme, supremely. Yeah. I, I would yeah. think. I would think huh. if you're going to look at giving or whatever the city water system to PUD, it would be. Very, it would be a good idea to look at the city taking over PUD because any municipality that has control over their water is a lot better off than a city that doesn't have control over the water. So, and, and again, the mayor's comment previous was that the primary function of the city is, is health and safety of the community. And one of the issues, and again, we're, we're getting off track here, one of the issues that's come up is whether or not we have um, the, 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 the quantity or the quality of staff that to monitor. You bet we do. Yeah. We're in the green. We've been in the green. We've never been out of the green. And we don't intend to be out of the green. If, if there's ever a question about the quality of work that goes in to this water system, or the quality of the water that goes to your faucet, to anybody's, call the health department. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Our rural water are uh, several other places. When you go to the outside uh, agencies who do this for a living, uh, we do well. Something happens in the middle of the night, you got people that fast. Yeah. Something happens on the weekend, you got people okay. that fast. Qualified. You know, I had to go and, and because all of a sudden I couldn't get to my email. This is a weird, until I got a white page. It was black. It was white. <laughs> Mine was black. Yours was black. <laughs> so so uh, I went down and I was talking to Denise about it. She said, I'll tell shit, Bob. Um, I don't have all that stuff. And then I just ha and I have to remember that I did have it in my phone. And I have a little memo pad. So I had to redo all of that to get it, and well, then I finally got smart and made a bookmark so I don't screw it up next time. Well, the only it's really question, fussy. The so question I'm asking <laughs> well, 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 let's back up a minute, let's back up. You guys have a problem, 
You couldn't open the files. Right. I got with the IT guy. Suddenly things got changed, and the uh, certificate note went away because I no, was it doing. No, it didn't. No, it no. didn't. No. Oh, it did on mine. I went and checked that. It did not. It was there. It was Mine's there. Still there. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So it could still have some improvement, perhaps. Anyway, well, but if we had just some way, some connection as to, you know, I got lucky, I found it in my phone book, because I was trying to go back through my, my civilian email to find all the stuff, and I didn't have it there. So well, well, what are you talking about, about the, the, the initial address that you plug in to get to the mail. Yeah. And you don't just say mail. Oh, no bar. Okay. It has this whole then, long thing. Is, okay, is that your problem? Yeah. yeah. And I didn't have that information. Oh. Okay, I'll write you a note. <laughs> okay. I'll send you and I'll, hand, I'll well, print it out and I'll hand it to you. The <laughs> only question I have is do we have something in place to where the IT guy goes into the emails every, say, quarter, for instance, pulls all the, all the city emails and puts it out a CD, you know, CD. Well, and, the, and, all the city and, emails and are on the server. Archive. Someplace so that if someone happened to come into Denise's desk and says, I would like to have uh, you know the public records from this date to this date, she could just go over, grab that little CD, and say, Here's your copy of the last oh, I, quarter. The so. uh, we that takes time and effort to do, and we and we've got it set up for 2009, working on 2010. Okay, uh, and that's just the workload we got. Uh, the answer to your question is uh, as far as the non-exempt emails, that's been put together and it has been done for a while, so we made it a cleaner uh, okay. presentation. So does every email after you pull it for a public record, does it always have to go to the attorney to be approved? No, 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 no. no. There, there, there are two classes of emails now. Okay. Yeah. okay? There's called non-exempt, right. which you want to deny, right. and there's exempt, which requires some sort of reaction. Okay. That's the only two we got nowadays. Okay. And early on, when we were pulling stuff out of people's personal stuff, we had emails that were not city business. Yeah. And you're familiar with that. Yeah. And, uh, and so we had to call those out. So, but but uh, but yeah, we, we spent a lot of time on it. We do not have a full time IT person. Well, uh, we have take, very. Take a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I, as I do. Uh, I run uh, a certain amount of hours a month on responding to public record requests, and on top of that, we put in overhead time to get the files up. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to know how it ran. I, I wasn't really sure what the procedures were of it, so if you could give me a copy of that, then that will really satisfy my curiosity. Okay, I will do that. Thank you. I did. Okay. okay. That, that, actually, I have a little request. Also, I'm curious. Because I haven't seen the procedure either. And, and, but I, what I'm interested in is, is do we have a, uh, I guess I'd like to have a copy of the procedure too, rather okay, than ask a bunch of questions. I'll make a little book. I'll, how to open your email. No, 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 no. I'm talking about just strictly and public records. Oh, all right. I'll, I got all that stuff. I've sent it out many times. I will, I will Thank do you. it. I'll, I'll make a little book of that. Okay. Well, whatever, okay, and do you mean that this is, is our procedure for handling public records? That's what I'm interested in. Uh, the procedure for handling public records. I mean, how do we choose? Let me finish. The procedure for handling public records. There's a couple of documents that we can, that we have options make that we have to change something. The rest of it is RCW, followed by the model rules, followed by case law. Okay? So you write something, and next week it might be what you thought was right was now wrong. This happens to many agencies uh, on this. And uh, so you have to constantly adjust to case law and their interpretations of it. Okay, so, so I, I would like to see a copy of our procedures. You will get it. I will make that's all I'm interested in. Yeah, yeah just our procedure. I'll give you an example of what we do. Okay, great. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, where are we next? Starlink Water District. Okay, John, this is yours again. Okay, basically we have an interlocal agreement with the Startup Water District that's about 15 years old. Uh, their operator comes and he borrows a water meter from us and a water diffuser when they push their hydrants and occasionally uh, 
you know, if he's gone and something's, he needs somebody to stand by and Richard and I told him, oh, we'll, we'll help out if something happens. Then we have his numbers and stuff like that. But he came to me wanting some help here last week and, you know, we're pretty short on crew and Richard's over with his mother and father this week, so there's just me. And I, I just can't help him this week. But it, it's a pretty big con interlocal agreement. It's 15 years old. The prices, <laughs> if, you look at the, if you look at the prices for dump truck backhoe and that sort of stuff, it's pretty low. So with the council's blessings, I'd like to uh, get with them and come up with some current interlocal agreement where it would work for us and it would work for them if they need to rise and then present that to the council. So, so I'm not inclined to, to decline his request, but I observed, and, and I'm a little bit anal in this regard, but I observed that throughout his letter, he mistyped this, the, the city name. It's two words, not one word. Ah, oh, it used to be one word. Well, well it's one years word, ago. but it has a capital D in the middle, doesn't it? No, no, you go look at the sheriff's sign. I, so the reason, that I'm, I'm assuming the reason it's that way out on this highway too is because we allow that to occur. Yeah. Used to? No, it used to be this one word, small b. Okay. And at some point in time, it became two words, capital B. And I don't know when. I wasn't here at the time. But, anyway. but the older, older documents are one word. So that's, that's just a... Let's just say our ancestors Yeah, I did the same stand. thing. I got, I got I like to make that one. But anyway, with regard to the... I, I, yeah, I'm not inclined to decline uh, to oh, yeah, decline his request. I think it's a fair request to update it. And, and then I'm going to be a little bit contradictory and think about economies of scale because I just got done making a comment with regard to uh, when it comes to the budget, whether we want to retain the water system. But I, I want to know if we would consider on economies of scale as, as a joint operation that start up interested in, in a joint and, and bringing them all under one umbrella. That's another question. Uh, since we haven't, if we were talking about an interlocal for emergencies only, but if we're talking about doing an agreement, well, then that would be billing and stuff like that. Yes, exactly. And, and would that be income coming into the city? Mm -hmm. No. Well, I'm yeah. sure that yeah. their water yeah. district yeah. runs in the black. Yeah. But uh, he also then, uh, I, I just don't know. So I'm just asking if we would want to ask them that question to oh, see if they would consider it. Yeah. Oh, oh they just got a bunch of no, new... I, no, no, they, they, they might be part of PUD. Yes. No, no, they're their own, and they just got a big grant, what, a year and a half ago? Yeah, right to replace their pipes. Yeah. All their pipes, all their pipes and hydrants are new. Yeah. That's true. Now, uh, I'm curious uh, on this line of uh, uh, economies of scale and stuff in the water. Uh, um, does, uh, uh, one of the things about the water department is, is uh, it, it is a very good fund to keep itself going and enables us to have, actually have a few more people around. And if we were to get rid of the water department, we'd have to get rid of more people. And uh, I don't think that's a wise idea, quite frankly. I mean, I'm not quite sure why you're considering it, so that's no, why. No, it wouldn't be getting rid of it, it would be a cooperative agreement. No, no, I was going back to the previous no, comment about the previous about 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 so water department, so I'm, I'm wondering what's the motivation to do that. Um, uh, that's beyond, that's thank you. beyond the scope right now. That, yeah. that, that, that's something I, that, uh, I have good relation, working relationships with the operator down there, and, and his name's Ken, he's not Ned. Uh, you know, yeah, and I'll bring that up to him. Okay. Yeah, He'll probably be around tomorrow. I, I, yeah, I would think that. But, but is this something that the council would enter, you know, entertain for the time being to upgrade the 15-year-old interlocal sure. agreement? So these are new numbers? No, those no, are, those are old numbers. Yeah, no, 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 here it's now. So, so I think we agree yeah. to that with sure. the stipulation that we'll draft it, and then we get a we get a review of it and approve it before it actually comes to sign. Of course. You know, I. In, in fact, you're probably going to be seeing more of these come up because I found a file today with 
Okay. How old are they? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. All right, so we'll, we'll John will work on this. And please, John, in your uh, in your draft, make coal bar two words. Yes. Correct spelling. I didn't know what was going on. Did you know that? I didn't. No, you didn't. You were the one who spelled it. Yes, you do. Okay. Um, <laughs> we had some vandalism on the new sidewalk. Okay, here's some examples. This is on the uh, east end. Uh, just east of the culvert. Somebody walked through here, rode their bicycle through here. The uh, uh, the contractor tried to repair it, thought this was a good repair job, and uh, got several no's. Uh, and uh, yeah, filled in the hole, but not gonna start ugly. We had uh, someone, this is on the west side, uh, next to 13th Street, and someone decided they would memorialize themselves. Uh, it's the house right there. Yeah, and then here is some bicycle there, but this is so wide it'll probably disappear in the next two rain stars. So we, uh, the situation is on this is uh, it is in discussion. The here is yeah here is the letter. Oh. Here we go. Uh, here is the, the letter that was sent to the contractor by the uh, project manager. He said, basically says that you're done. And uh, that's, uh, that's kind of hard. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's in that uh, three-inch thick uh, contract that you get for the federal contract. Yeah, but the thing is that they didn't mark it off real well to... I mean, two little cones, I mean, they're really doesn't need it. That, that, was, uh, that, was, that was the reason for this. As he said, it was, did I take reasonable precautions or exercise sale construction practice? Very true. So, and this is going to be a, a multiple thousand dollar hit to the contractor, and we will see where it takes us. We're still under budget. Uh, we're still, uh, you know, pretty much finishing, but we're not going to accept the sidewalk with that sort of and uh, uh, yeah, and so anyway, so that's that's about it. And I'm not sure how long this is going to take to get this on. Okay, next. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. What's the arm, arm, arm. I, I, no, I, <laughs> oh. I, 
is some people get, they don't want to be considered councilmen, so they didn't want to go, do you care? It doesn't matter. What do you want to make a... It's just a word I would like to be called a council member. I would, personally. Okay, council member from now on. Council member is fine. Okay. Council member. Do you want to change on this one or is it not? Okay. Not required to change on this one. I'm just noticing it. So okay. So from now on, we know. From now on, council member. Okay. Any, any other changes, Thank you. comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. So, first of all, I want to address the point that uh, that the amended agenda has print in red, and under vouchers, they, um, there is some red. Um, but, what I want to state is that the Finance Committee as a whole considered all of the vouchers, including um, the last one, which is item 1698, which is um, voucher 17566. So, as I make this motion, it's all been already reviewed by the, um, by the Finance Committee. So, so, this amendment was actually occurred before we met as a committee and did a review. So, that's my comment. Okay, <clears throat> with that being said, I make a motion that we accept uh, and approve payroll vouchers 5214 through 5217 for a total of $2,800 and that we accept and approve 2012 vouchers 17534 through 17566 for a total of $98,829.48 a grand total then of $101,629.48. Do we have a second? I second it. Okay. Any discussion or questions? Yeah, I have a, a question. Okay. On transaction 1675, it has a very nice description of where all the money went, individual pieces. Yes. I really like that. Is there a way we can get the same thing for item 1678? That all went into, um, that's, um, that was one, that's one, uh, it just went into one, yeah, law alignment is one lawsuit. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And is that in related to any of the block suits or is this a whole different one? No, this is uh, uh, block lawsuit number two. Block number two. The law alignment? Yeah. The law alignment is the block too. Okay. I'm sorry, what was that? I was just agreeing with you. Okay. So, just to advise the council, my, my primary concern is, is I review this with the Finance Committee is to ensure that we don't exceed our budget limitations. And so I'm more concerned about whether it falls into city or into the litigation fund. And um, as uh, I didn't bring my budget here with me, but we're um, one of these funds. We're at um, I th I'm not sure which one at the moment, but we're at 95 percent expenditure or 96 percent expense at budget, and the other one we're at 91 percent. So. We're um, we're in the ninety percent, but um, but we're still okay. For these so. Okay. Any motion, second, I believe. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. Well. We got to the second citizen's comment. Do citizens have any comment?
Um, I want to apologize for the fact that I handed the note over to Ken. I never gave it a thought as to a procedure. I should have stood up and, and made it that notation. I'm sorry that the reporters had to make it into something that was supposed to be something positive, make it look negative. The other thing is, is uh, um, when I inquired about you having an attorney, I said the Gold Bar reporter was alluding to the fact that uh, you were wrongfully using the attorneys. And that was a question I asked you, and you said by law he was required to. So again, I wish you girls would quit doing negativity. Do something positive, for goodness sakes. You've got so much energy to put that stuff on the blog. Why don't you do something for the city? Any comments? Susan Forbes, 209 17th Street. I want to make it quite clear that everything that's on the Gold Bar Reporter isn't written by three people. I can tell you exactly what I have on there right now. I went for a 17 mile hike, I took pictures and posted them on the Gold Bar Reporter. I put a link for International Girl of the Day, I put up a link. I think it's gone now for comparing candidates so that you could think for yourself instead of believing your political ad, you see. Um, I'll take credit for the links to all the different agencies. Uh, the restaurant page, I think I created that. That's the extent of what I've got on the Gold Bar Reporter right now, and I'm really trying you would distinguish the fact that there are more than... You the know, travel page, you created the travel page. Yeah. Right? She mentioned that. Thank you, Susan. And, and so I, that brings it down to one person. And so it's Ann Block because she's saying she's not doing it. If, you're not doing if it. If I post something on the Gold Bar Reporter, if I send you an email, you're going to know you get it from me. Right. And I would appreciate keeping that in mind when you're telling people. Off. I will. I will. Thank you. Um, Susan, can I ask you um, a question, please? Um, October, is, the whole month of October is Breast Cancer Day. And I appreciate it if you put something in the Gold Bar Reporter about that. Sure. Thank you. Here's your icon, that's right. Joan Amon, 13th Street. Thank you, Mr. Ware, for your courteousness and acknowledging this situation with the uh, paper. Appreciate that. Uh, you know, when my husband was in office, no one was more vilified than he and I. Some of you here thought that was a really good idea. I know about bullying, cyber and otherwise. I have been skewered for years. My favorite bullying moment was when Ron Turner sat here, right about where I'm thinking Mr. is sitting, and told my husband, who was sitting right where Mr. Strong was sitting, control your wife in the middle of a council meeting. That was priceless. I am not bullying. I am making records requests. Mr. Ware would not know where the fraud investigation was if I hadn't asked. And you will be receiving an update, I promise you. None of you would be getting updates on certain issues if we did not ask. I apologize for nothing because I have the evidence for what I say. And if you'd like to ask me for it, simply email me. Everyone here knows Susan, I, and Anne. Identify ourselves. As opposed to some people I could say on the Sky Valley Chronicle who don't identify themselves. No one's complaining about them. I wonder why. You don't know who they are. But no one has a problem with them. That's amazing. Thank you very much for your hypocrisy. Having no business sanctions. Yes, I've got a sign on um, Having no other comments and comments, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Is that good? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. And that's that. Oh, before.